Today we're gonna make our own reverb. Uh, we'll get an original sound that nobody has and it's gonna be yours. This is really easy. I'm using Space Designer and Logic for this example. But first we have to record an impulse response. Now to do this, you're gonna need something to record on. You can use your phone or you can have a recorder like this or you can use a microphone from a jar and just have a long cable. I'm gonna try to record it in a couple of rooms that I have. I have a staircase down here that has a lot of long reverb. I'm gonna use this room to see if I can get uh, something out of this. And I'm also gonna go out where the elevator is and see if I can get something fancy sounding there. So I'm gonna use this recorder. I'm gonna place it on the table and just gonna snap my hands like that. Okay, so that's all I need. Let's take the next room. Right, so this is the next room. It's, it has, there's the elevator and it's a big ceiling up here. And so I think I, I can get a nice reverb here. So I'm gonna place the zoom recorder here. Now let's try down here, the stairs. It's gonna be a long sounding sound. So now we have three different rooms. So let's head into Logic and work with it. Okay, so I have the files here. Just put it into the computer. The first thing I need to do is import the three files that I just recorded and I need to edit them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the volume up on them. So I'm gonna normalize them to minus three so we can see what's happening. The first one is the office. Now the second one was hall and stairs. Let's go with the office one. I'm gonna listen for a clap that I like. I think I like the last one here. Okay, now let's take the hall. That's where the elevator was. That one. That's one I'm gonna take. This is where the stair was. Stairs was. I think that one. This one. Okay, so I have three files here. Well, the elevator. Let's zoom it in a bit. Trim it off. Bit of a fade. And do like this. So now I just need to bounce them out. This, put it here in new folder, reverb, reverbs, and this is gonna be one, that's number two, and this is gonna be number three. Okay. So now let's go into a different project and see if we can use these new reverbs on that project. This is Luck Now, it's a video that I put out last time, um, and here you have a reverb on it. While I'm young. I think I have a long wooden room, large wooden room I've used here. Okay. And now I'm gonna make two new sands. And on this one, I may want an EQ first. And then we're gonna find Space Designer. We find it under reverb here. Space Designer. Mono to stereo. Actually, we're gonna have this in stereo because there are stereo files. Let's go and find the files. Reverbs, here we have them. One, two, and three. So we can try with the one, that's the office. Just drop it in. And we should have reverb. Okay, so this is a new, this is the reverb we made. I don't remember when we were all and young All that 
laid back in a memory I feel like somebody I don't know Are we really we used? Okay, so this, you can hear that it, it, it gives the vocal and the guitar more of a room. So just listen with without so this is just putting on the sound of the office just straight in and you have a lot of options here you can you can make sh you can shape uh, you, you can shape the impulse response like this shorten it make it a lot shorter or original you can have a filter envelope on it you also have uh, output EQ so you can take out some of the highs and lows and maybe take out a bit of the where the vocal lies. Young, all that feedback in a memory. I feel like somebody I don't know. With, without. Let's try another one. Let's make two more buses. Now we can call this one, two, and three. Okay, and we're gonna try to have the same mount on them. And I think we're just gonna use the space to center on this one. On this one, we're gonna place the second one. And on this one, we're gonna have the third one. Okay. So let's listen to the second one. Now this is the elevator. I don't remember when we were and young All that feedback in the memory I feel like somebody I don't know How we So this is only the river we listen to. Well, the light will draw you in, and the dark will bring Without. you down. All the night will break With. you hard, but only if you like it now. That's really nice. Now let's try the other one, the last one. I don't remember when Okay, yeah, this is a long one Let's play from here Well, the light will draw you in And the dark will bring you down Now there's a bit mud in this one, so we need to eke you out something Well, the light will draw you in And the dark will bring you down All the night Draw you in, and the dark will bring you down. All the night will break you hard. Okay, so let's see if we can. Well, the light will draw you in, and the dark will bring you down. Well, the light will draw you in, and the dark will bring you down. All the night will break you how but only if you now we're gonna change between the reverbs that we made and to see the difference. Listen for this difference because what you're gonna hear is three different rooms. The three rooms you saw me recording.
since I know this room, I walk in here every day, it sounds really like that I'm in those spaces playing guitar and singing. And that's the fun with this. Well, the light will Without you in. Number one. And the dark will bring you down. All the night will break you out. Only this is just like me standing in that office playing guitar and it feels like that. Now let's take it where the elevator is. Well, the light will draw you in And the dark will bring you down All the night will break you out But only if you like it now Well, okay, now let's take the staircase. Well, the light will draw you in and the dark will bring you down all the night will break you out but only if you like it now now all this is gonna help you be unique you're gonna have a unique sound that only you have I'm not saying that you're gonna use this as your main reverb but if you put a little bit of this in in your productions you're really gonna get something that you really or the owner of because today everybody has the same plugins they use the same everything the same synths and a lot of things are really sounding the same but to stand out from all this noise um, I think that if you make your own sounds you make your own identity I think that's how you're gonna stand out. So this is simple, it doesn't take you a lot of time and it's real fun, so try it out. I hope you liked this video, please subscribe, hit this like button and see you guys in another video, take care.